Hey traders, David Frost, LazyGapTrader.com. In this video, we're talking about day trading. More specifically, we're talking about gap trading and how gap trading is by far the single most consistent and profitable day trading strategy you're going to find across the markets today. In this video, I'm going to show you a specific example, actually two examples of morning gap trades today that worked out perfectly. I'm also going to show you a specific example of exactly how we know when not to take a trade, which is just as important as knowing when to take a trade. I do a couple of things. The first one is I teach a course where traders learn two specific gap trading strategies. The first one is known as the morning gap trades. This is where stocks that are gapping higher or lower at the open create an opportunity. And the opportunity for traders is when they can identify a specific price where these stocks should first be drawn to like a magnet and then have a price reaction from in the other direction. You're looking at one of the trades from this morning, WDC. We're going to get to that in a minute and we're going to talk specifically about how this stock produced two trades today. Now in my course, I teach traders everything they need to know in order to trade the gaps successfully. What criteria do we use? Which stocks does this work the best with? How much of a gap higher or lower at minimum are we looking for? What type of volume on these stocks are we looking for? And most importantly, how do you calculate the specific price levels? where these stocks will first be drawn to and then have a price reaction in the other direction. The second thing I do is give traders an opportunity to get my gap trade sent to them each and every morning at 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 30 minutes before the markets even opened for business. Here's a copy of the email that went out to traders this morning. And as you can see, we only had three opportunities on the board today. And the majority of the reason why that is, it's the Monday following the Thanksgiving Day holiday period. The market is generally quiet on Monday to begin with, and it's generally quiet following a holiday weekend period of time. However, we did have three opportunities on the board. The first one, XNET, did not hit its specific gap level. Therefore, it's off the board. We only want trades where the stocks come in to the specific levels that we calculate. The second one, Square, SQ, gap lower, support levels are $44.18, and then I gave a secondary level at $39.28. Stop and profit target is about $0.30 to $0.55. Cents. We are going to take a look at this stock, and it's very important you pay attention to what happened to this stock. This was one of the examples of when not to take a trade. I'm going to go over it in detail. The third one did produce two trades, Western Digital, WDC, Gap Lower, Support Levels are $87.58, $85.81, and $84.04 stop and profit target is about 40 to 75 cents these are minimum profit targets sometimes we get the minimum profit target and sometimes we get a lot more and in my course I teach traders how to turn some of these trades into risk-free emotionless trades now we're back on the chart of WDC and the reason I have a one-minute chart up on the board is because this one happened very quick right at the opening bell you can see here in the first minute of trading the stock made a low of $87.15 that's well within our stop loss limitation and by the way you can see here that Friday the stock closed all the way up over $92 a share it was gapping lower at the open creating the type of opportunity that we're looking for in the third minute of the day the stock made a high of $88.18 producing more than the minimum profit target that we were looking for as outlined in the email that went out at 9 o'clock in the morning it was a quick one but a winner nevertheless now I've switched over to a 10 minute chart because I want to show you the second level that played out later in the morning session as you can see the stock came in to the 85.81 level making a low of 85.33 still within the stop loss limitation and just minutes later the stock was already at a high of 86 dollars and 75 cents producing the second trade of the day on a monday after a holiday weekend period of time that's not too shabby folks this is exactly what the traders who take my course learn how to identify these specific price levels. 
Now I do want to take a look at Square for a second because the $44.18 level was given out to members in the morning email. However, as you can see from a 10 minute chart perspective, it doesn't look like it worked out and it didn't work out. It had a very small bounce of only about 20 cents off that level. However, I want to explain why and traders who have taken my course know exactly why this is. For this one, we'll mix it up a little bit and we'll look at a three minute chart and you can see what happened. Right around 11.03 a.m. today, the stock made a low of $44.26, just eight cents above the buy level. And then the stock had a bounce all the way up to a high of $44.75. That's the bounce we were looking for had the stock come in to the $44.18 level. When a stock comes up just penny short of a level and has the type of reaction that we're looking for, it takes the trade off the table. That's one of the things that's taught very specifically and in detail in the course at Lazy Gap Trader, along with a lot of other nuances on how to trade this strategy each and every day. If you want to learn everything there is to know about trading the gaps successfully, then come over to Lazy Gap Trader, check out the course. This is a strategy that you can use each and every day for the remainder of your trading career. I'm David Frost, LazyGapTrader.com. Thanks for tuning in, folks.